So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. This is our last midweek game for three weeks. Oh, I can't tell you how excited I am to say that. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the Hive. It's Barnet v Bromley in the Vanarama National League. So the fourth qualifying round for the FA Cup was made. And we've been drawn away to Potters Bar Town. I hope we can organise our ticket sales better than we did for our last away FA Cup game. Who's Leo. not got a ticket? We don't. We All don't of you. Tickets. Write your names down for us. Put your full name on that. Put plus one, two, oh, three, oh, four, oh, five. And the funny thing, I can't even go to this game. I'm going to a wedding. So I'll be selling my ticket and the bidding starts at one million dollars. Don't you think we should maybe ask for more than one hundred billion dollars? But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to film. No! So Bromley finished 11th last season in the Vanarama National League, where they played 46 times, winning 16, drawing 12, losing 18, scoring 68, conceding 69, giving them a goal difference of minus one, and they finished on 60 points. They currently sit second, and their last five games have been two wins, one draw, and two losses. <laughs> Neil Smith is still in charge at Bromley, where he's now taken 194 games, winning 69, giggity, 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 giggity. drawing 43, losing 82, giving him a win percentage of 35.57. It was 33.71 last time we met. So it's good to see that you're finally improving, even though you've lost more games than you've won. Number nine, Michael Cheek, who has eight goals in 14 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 22nd of the 4th, 2019, Barnett 1, Bromley 1. Julian Higgs giving Bromley the lead on 41 minutes. Shaq equalised for us on the 71st minute. What, you expecting clips of goals? I am taking a ball and going home. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get a fuck out of town. Fuck you, Bromley. When we come out of the EU, maybe the only good thing to come out of South London can give you to the EU as part of the deal. How we doing? All right. You got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. Starting lineup for Barnett tonight in a 3 5 2. Loach in goal. Captain Cannon Reynolds. Ricardo Santos and Dan Sweeney as your free centre halves. Shane Alexander as your right wing back. David Zatonda as your left wing back. Free centre midfielders today. Ari Taylor, Wesley Fongook, and Maro Valletti. And up front, Josh Walker and Alfie Pavey. And this is our Bromley lineup for tonight. Oh, Shane. Not even 10 minutes on the clock and it's Barnet 1, it's Bromley 0. This play all started down our left hand side. Nice work between Tondo, Josh Walker and Fongo. The little triangles between them. And Fongo puts a ball into the box. Pavey's up. He can't get on. It goes all the way to the other side. Shea collects the ball. He cuts in, plays the ball along the floor in the box. Josh Walker again. He's got the ball at his feet. Put it in the back of the net. 1-0 Barnet. 18 minutes in, we still lead 1-0. We've been playing some really nice football. We've had two great chances back to back. Tondo whipping the ball into the box. Pavey knocking it over the bar, and then Valetti unmarked and knocking it over the bar. 24 minutes in, it's Barnet 1, it's Bromley 1. Cannon Reynolds gives a free kick away in the centre of the field. Free kick that gets played in. Pavey's not tight enough to his man. Wins the head off, going all the way to the back post. And then Chris Bush heads it home. Cheap free kick to give away, and we should have done better with clearing the ball. And that's his second attack of the game. Good all us prior to that. Five to the half is still 1 1. Another great opportunity by us with Shea whipping the ball in. Pavey gets up, but the keeper tips over for a corner, nothing come of that. Bromley have scored, they've grown into the game there. After that, Bromley a counter attack, hack it, and his right hand side cuts into Tonda the slip, they had a shot on his left foot, hits the post. <laughs> oh, 
half time here at a hive and it's Barnett's one, it's Bromley one. It was all of us for the first 25, 30 minute link up play between Tatonda, Fongu and Josh Walker's been excellent. Shea's been really good. He's been putting some nice balls in into the right areas. Just like Dagger and Redbridge, but they had opportunities, they could have been freeing it up. We could have done the same, not been clinical in front of goal tonight like we was away at Files. And the second we gave away a sloppy free kick that we didn't do well enough to clear. Bromley have been in the game, they've made a game of it. For that, they had nothing. I weren't too sure if we was playing really nice football, playing really well, or they were just shit. Just for half time, we get a free kick and Shade whips that in from about 35 yards. And the keepers push wide. It definitely had the better of the chances in this first half. We haven't taken them. The last 10 minutes, a bit of pressure on us. We panic and we don't know what to do. And we went back into our shell, just knocking it sideways and backwards. We are still in this. Let's see what we can do in the second half. Come on, Barnett. Still 1-1, but we're in the first minute of the second half. Bromley, quick counter-attack, straight down there, right hand side. Loach, just like Dagenham, in a one-on-one -on -one and pushes it wide. 57 minutes in, Barnett's one, Bromley two. Sweeney, stupid free kick to give away because he's gave the ball away, so he's just dived in. He's lost his head. Bromley get a free kick and they play it in. From here, it looks like it's an own goal from Callum Reynolds. Byron Nancy says that Kizzy's got on the end of it and they've made it 2-1. For that, we had another opportunity where Valetti's played through Pavey. He's running at the goal. He's had a good shot, but the keeper saved it. Quarter of an hour to go. We're still losing 2-1. We've changed formation and gone back to the 4-2-3-1. So you're thinking, knock it wide, whip it into the box, yeah? We've done that about twice since doing this. I'm not a genius, but I know that. We're losing 2-1. You don't go from two up front to having one up front. So all we've done there is basically sidewards and backwards yet again. Five of normal time remaining. In, Bromley still lead 2 1. They're closing out everything oh, no, that we're trying to do. Every long ball, every through ball, they're closing oh, it out. They've done well in the second half, Bromley. We have no idea what we're doing. It's, it's gone to shit since we went 2 1 down and changed formation. I don't think we needed to change it. Into 90th, Bromley still lead 2 1. The ref just said on three minutes. I get to go home in three minutes. So the game finished, Barnett's one, Bromley two. Banter FC is back. And Curry was right. Let's not get too carried away because we was leading 1-0 and we threw it away. I've never known a team as inconsistent as us. Better side until Bromley equalised. They wasn't in the game. And then we panicked and shit ourselves like a two-year-old. Had more than enough chances in the first half to put the game to bed. Should have been 3-4-0 up at sight. Happy days. Put our feet up and relax. Garcon. Garcon. Pass the pinnacle. Colada. No, we decided to shit ourselves instead. How can we not defend set pieces with the size of the players we've got in our team? Give away a cheap free kick in the middle of nowhere where he's going nowhere, but Reynolds decides to move from defence into midfield to kick a player up in the air. They whip the ball into the back post where Pavey's not marking cheek. Cheek wins the ball, and from where I'm sitting, either Loach hasn't come to get it or we haven't taken charge to get rid of the ball, and now it's 1 1. And the second free kick was just embarrassing and fucking done by Sweeney. He's lost the ball, and then he loses his head by Charles in on a player and arguably you can say that that's not the first mistake that he's made that's led to us conceding a goal but to go 2-1 down after dominating most of possession in a 3-5-2 to then revert back to the shit 4-2-3-1 again what was we thinking oh no wait we wasn't thinking even Stevie Wonder could see that going from having two forwards up front when you're losing 2-1 to changing it to having one forward up front was never gonna work we don't have the players to play a 4-2-3-1 we can't cross a ball we cross the ball about five times and it was shit and the only two people that was putting in good crosses was our fullbacks and then you changed the formation to Tonda and Shay's crosses were the best thing of the night and then we changed formation and then we put them back in defense where we're not going to get them to cross the ball so once again it was lack of ideas and panic mode set in where we didn't know how to break down a team who came to sit and dig in and in the end we got what we deserved out of the game fuck all Bromley played the smart game and well done for them for that so was far the way a fluke considering Chesterfield just beat them and they hadn't won in 11 games we'll have to find out Saturday home to Woking you know what to do ta -da. all three of you are pathetic you don't care you're yeah. way behind and you haven't got a fucking clue can we work together as a team